In this video we're going to discuss how to test a pressure transmitter. You see in the picture an example of a typical industrial pressure transmitter. Pressure transmitters work by receiving an input pressure value and as an input and giving out an electrical signal as an output. Most pressure transmitters give an output signal of between 4 and 20 milliamps. 4 milliamps relates to a zero pressure signal and 20 milliamp relates to the upper value of the pressure range that you want to sense. So in this example the pressure transmitter is set from 0 to 4 bar. So the electrical signal output will be 4 milliamps for 0 bar and 20 milliamps for 4 bar. In this demonstration we're going to check if the transmitter is working correctly, calibrated correctly, and giving the correct electrical output signal for the pressure applied. Here we have the equipment that we need to test. A pump, a multimeter to check the electrical output signal, a power supply, and the meter itself. Sorry, the transmitter itself. We need to confirm on the body of the transmitter the range we are looking to test. Here we can see 0 to 4 bar. This is the power supply. The positive of the power supply is connected directly to the positive on the transmitter. The negative of the power supply is connected through the multimeter so we can read the electrical signal. So one leg of the multimeter is connected to the wire connected to the power supply. And the other side of the multimeter is connected directly to the negative side of the transmitter. This will allow us to read the electrical current in the loop. Just make sure it's connected properly. Turn on the power supply. We have around 17 volts DC which should be enough to power the transmitter. We can see now we've got power reading zero range and zero bar as there's no pressure applied. We should be reading four milliamps on the multimeter which we are. Make sure it's set to milliamps and the leads are in the correct place. Turn on the pump. This is the vent. Make sure it's closed. This is the fine adjustment knob. Make sure it's wound out a little bit to give you enough room to increase. Just make sure you don't come away from the 4 milliamps too much. Maybe better to make sure the vents open while you wind out the fine adjustment. Okay, now that we have enough adjustment, it's time to start pumping up. So, if we go to 50% of the range first, that means we need to pump the pressure to 2 bar. And if the range of the electrical output is 4 to 20 milliamps, 4 to 20 is a range of 16. So half of the range of 16 is 8. So if we add 8 to the 4, we should get 12 milliamps when we have 2 bar. Here we can see we're approaching 2 bar. And at the moment we have 11 milliamps. Fine adjustment use to get it to 2 bar. 
there we have two bar we check on the meter we can see we have 12 milliamps now we need to verify on the screen of the transmitter the transmitter itself says 50% of the range and two bar which is correct now we need to check the full scale range so we need to take the pump to 4 bar and this should give us 20 milliamps so use the rough pump to get us most of the way and then we use the fine adjustment when we're nearly there Three point nine, fine adjustment to get us to four, and we can see the multimeters already at twenty milliamps. Again, just verify with the screen. Transmitter is now at four bar and one hundred percent of the range. Normally, in industrial calibrations, we would check this transmitter at four points. Over the range, we check it at 0%, 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100%. And that's actually five points, isn't it? Um, but this is just a quick demonstration check. This, cal this transmitter is calibrated, and this is how to do it.